Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. I hope all of you guys had a wonderful 4th of July, or if you're not in the United States, a really good weekend. Today, we got a lot of big news. Let's go ahead and dig in. Probably the biggest news is going to be that Moore and Corwell are going to be coming out. Corwell is going to be able to be acquired by the quest, so you are still going to be able to max him out fully as long as you can do his quest and complete his mission. Moore is a pull unit, although I'm not sure anybody is going to be pulling on him because we all know potentially bikini units are coming soon and we have Final Fantasy VII in the future. Let's take a look at uh, kind of what the showcase is for them here. We got uh, more is going to be a Kododama wielder with sub job red mage and cleric. Limit break is going to lower water resistance of targets within range for three turns, then deal large damage uh, based on caster's magic stat. He's going to be known for his anti magic wall, which will bestow a magic barrier on himself. Corwell is not going to have a limit break. He's going to be main job sniper, sub job gunner and night blade. He's going to have Dispel Spread as kind of his like showcase ability, which they're putting on here. Other than that, we don't really have much more information. You can always go to the JP side of Wode of Calc. And I personally am excited. Can't talk today. Uh, I personally am excited to get a new free UR unit. More release celebration training challenge mission is going to be coming out. So, of course, if you do pull more, you are going to be able to get 120 of their shards. Uh, Corwell acquisition quest will be coming out. And along with this, the Corwell High Difficulty uh, Acquisition EX Quest for the Platinum Bow. And interestingly, uh, simultaneously, we do have another weapon farming event, uh, which we'll be talking about here in just a second. JP bonus, of course, for Moore and Corwell. And their shards are going to be obtainable if you can't farm all of Corwell's shards. Some other things going on this week, we are going to get story event release login bonus, story quest JP and item double drop up campaign, equipment training quest, platinum mace and coral sword, secret book rewards quest, sword, great sword axe, and mace bow armor. Interesting that we're getting a story event release login bonus since no story was released this week as far as I can tell. Uh, maybe they are going to uh, release a story with this. Or maybe they changed up um, when these units were supposed to release. Uh, I'm kind of curious because of the idea that it is, a, it is a story event release login bonus. I'm not really sure. Uh, but you are going to be able to get more shards from the daily login. 40 of those. We do have story quest JP and item double drop up campaign. Uh, and then of course the platinum mace and coral sword is going to be coming back, which of course uh, platinum mace, one of the better maces or the best mace out there right now. Uh, we also have the secret book rewards quest, which we just talked about. Now the silence of the songbirds event will be coming out. And this does feature one of my favorite characters up here in the upper right. He just looks so badass and i can't wait to see the actual story involving all of them I, i'm actually excited to watch this story so maybe this is the story that the story event release is referring to hard to know uh, so you are going to be getting the uh, Silence of the Songbirds medal exchange. There's going to be a story that goes along with this. Um, you're going to be getting awakening materials. And of course, you're going to get the high difficulty EX quest, the Spine Blade. Now, the Spine Blade is a pretty good weapon. I personally think there's probably other better weapons out there for most of the sword users, especially since we have specifically elemental weapons for a lot of kind of primary main sword wielders and for magic users we have like Lohengrin or Adelard's TMR so it's interesting just looking at this and kind of figuring out the stats on it and asking the question when would this be useful what units is this going to be useful for I actually think this could be a whole video uh talking about this weapon because I think it's a unique weapon it's a little bit of a different weapon and it's definitely worth talking about uh, of course the shop's gonna have uh, rainbow vision spheres and rainbow fragments and a blossoms of paradise the guild map is going to be changing to the mines too uh, which will have slash attack up so for those of you who have um 
you know, for those of you that have Zazan maxed out, is going to be pretty powerful Ketone as well. But I really wonder how effective your Zazan and Ketone are going to be uh, with Corwell being free, right? It seems a little weird to me that, you know, we have Ketone EX released and then we get UR Zazan released on the global side. Literally the next week, his counter, you could argue, uh, Corwell comes out. And while Corwell does not have Sharpshoot, there is still the fact that he is a sniper or a ranged attack user who's going to naturally have a lot more accuracy to counter Sazan and Ketone. Pair that with 2B, right? All of a sudden the effectiveness of 2B goes up. So I wonder if we're gonna see some 2B and Corwell compositions here going into the week. I would definitely be excited for that. I also know where there is an arena map coming out in the near future uh, where Corwell is pretty effective, where he can you can actually put a ranged unit up on the ledge. Uh, so I would be pretty excited about that. Anyway, everybody, uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you guys all have a great start to your Monday. Uh, if you do want to support me, you can use my affiliate link, dig.gs slash coins. Uh, if you are not going to be buying Amazon coins, you can always check out using my link. Uh, just type dig.gs slash coins when you're shopping on Amazon and then go to the checkout box. You don't have to buy coins, uh, but it still supports me. So thank you so much, everybody, and have a great rest of your day.